Question 18. It's pretty obvious what they're asking us to actually do here, and that's to find the missing number. So it's 70 divided by the missing number equals 3.5. But it's not so obvious about how we're actually going to do that. So before we begin looking at this question, I'm going to ask you to think about this. What is 100 divided by 50? Well, obviously the answer to that is 2. Now instead of dividing by 50, let's think about dividing by a number which is 10 times smaller than 50. Well, 10 times smaller than 50 is 5. Now with division, if you divide by something 10 times smaller, because that you're doing, dividing by something smaller, there's going to be more of those in there. So the answer is going to be 10 times bigger. So divide by a number 10 times smaller, there's going to be 10 times more of them in there. So 10 times more than 2 is 20. So 100 divided by 5 is 20. Now I'd like to bear that logic in mind when we come to this question. Now then, 70 divided by something equals 3.5. What we could actually do is 70 divided by 3.5 and it would get us this mystery answer which would also be the same that goes in this box here. So if I wanted to do 70 divided by 3.5, I could actually take the decimal point out and do 70 divided by 35, which is obviously just going to be 2. But if I put the decimal point back in, I'm then from 35 to make it 3.5, I'm dividing by something that's 10 times smaller. So there's going to be 10 times more of those 3.5s in 70. So if there's 2 35s, there's going to be 10 times more, which would be 20 lots of 3.5 in there. So if 70 divided by 3.5 is 20, 20 must be what goes in here. 70 divided by 20 equals 3.5. And that's the answer. So just remember, when dividing, if you divide by a number that's 10 times smaller, there's going to be 10 times more of them in there. Okay?